My name is Fred and in this video I'll construct two triangles. The first one here we know the three sides here by red, side A, side B and side C and we'll construct the triangle and measure the angles. It's difficult when construct constructing triangles that you cannot use your name for more than one purpose. But anyhow I'll start off by making A equal to 4.6 B equal to 3 and C equal to 5 Now I'll do the points and point A should be in the oracle 0, comma, 0 Well, I need the brackets 0, comma, 0 C will then be in the point B, comma, 0. And maybe I should drag it a little to make it larger. Ah, I don't want my nice drawing here to disappear. I could do that by fixing the object to an absolute position on the screen. I've done that now, so now it will stay. And then I can drag like that and like that. It should be possible, well it would be a little bit smaller, it should be possible to fit with the known measurements here. Now I need to make some circles to find the point B. So I'll lo look into making a circle and it is a circle with a center and a radius. So that's what I want to and I'll point to point A and the radius there should be C okay and I'll redo it circle with center and radius I'll press on C and here the radius should be A now I need an intersection between those two circles and I need that point there and that should be my B and as I have not used the letter B yet it will automatically be so. Now I need my triangle A B C A. There it is. I do not want to see the circles anymore away with them. So now I could measure a lot in this triangle and here I measure, I could measure distances but look what happens when I measure th this one well, it simply says 4.1, 4.6 that's alright and 5 and 3, no names but they do get new names now I could move the numbers a little bit out to see them easier, more easily I also want to measure an angle and you should do it in the right order C A B that angle A B C that angle and B C A in that angle. If you do it the other way around you'll get the opposite angle. Now about the angles I'll not know the well I do want the to show the label because I want to show the size so here it is. I could drag it a little bit if it's not in the right position. Maybe I do not want to see the axes anymore. I'll remove them. And here I've made the construction of the first triangle. I could easily make the area understand the area. Here, the area of the triangle polygon is six point seven eight, also measured. Say that one, or I could just minimize it. So here's my second task. Construct the triangle from the known parts here, the red one. The angle A is known, the angle C is known, and the bottom line B is known as well. Again, I'll start off by making my point A equal to 0, 0. 
and point C is equal to well I've not made my A, B and C yet I have to do that at least I make my B equal to 6 comma 9 and then I can make my point C equal to B comma 0 maybe I again should drag it a little bit not those I have to make those fixed on the position on screen and that one as well so now when I drag they'll stay and maybe it should be a little bit larger scale like that now I have to make angles so I'll use this possibilities an angle with a given size so I have to press that one and the size should be 38 now I want to have this possibility of changing it so I put down here that A I can't use A because I've used it for a point A angle equal to 38 like that and I'll put down a degree as well and it comes here and I might as well make the C angle equal to 50 and I'll put down a degree again like that didn't come that is so now I can use this facility and making an angle here from point C to the point A and the angle now should be A angle I only get a point but you see the angle is 38 is alright I want to make a line through those two points like that again I want to make an angle with a given size and I want here to make an angle here now I get into trouble and the size should be C angle and look what happens I get it downwards instead of upwards so I have to do something about that first I'll delete what I just happened by pressing control set away with that one and then I'll press the two points as before but now I remember to click clockwise and then I'll put down C angle here okay now it's alright I need, need the line from there to there and I need the intersection between those two lines there and this should be my point B yes now I'll not show some of the not important things wave them I cannot delete them because then I will delete what is dependent on them and what are dependent on them and that are the lines I'll make my polygon A B C A I'll take away my axes now as I do not know them use them don't show the axes and here I've got my triangle I'll do some measurements now the angle A B C here yes and I'll measure some of the distances that one and that one and that one and maybe move around a little bit things so it's more easily shown As always, this is dynamic. I can change the values I've got originally and see that the drawing differs. Now, I have got what I wanted and I can see that the former results are alright. But if I change the angle here, let's say 48, 
I just get another triangle and everything below works as well. I could make this text box a little larger and I could here state results are and what I've got results I've got the uh, angle B and then I'll put it down as an object and that's not too easy but I'll use that one and side A the opposite of big A is equal to and what is the na name of that one? That is A1 so the object there is A underscore 1 and side small c is equal to and what's the name of that one? well that is C1 so I'll put it down as C1 and that is ok for the results now but as I changed the A angle it shows that it's not alright for what were known so I have to change those three things as well so I have to change my side my A angle here and instead of having that one I should put in my object that one and remove the other one and side B should be removed and be an object instead of that B and the angle C should be removed and be an object instead of C angle there it is now also the text box will work dynamically in the sense if I change the angle here to 52 degrees it will change in the text box as well as in the drawing of course I can make situations when this will not work if I change the angles to something very odd 148 I get something very odd but for most purposes it will work come on like that and this ends the video on constructing